All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Travis Falhark here. This is WFC's VIP, and right next to me is a VIP, the one, the only, the former WFC heavyweight champion, Alex Royal on commentary. Yes, I'm here, and I'm here in spectacular fashion as I'm seeing Luke Langley, my, uh, my nemesis of sorts. How fitting is it? My first match on commentary, even if it is a trial basis, Luke Langley. Man, it's been a while since I've seen this guy. Of course, you guys had a historic rivalry throughout here, and I always thought, obviously, you were the better of the two. Unfortunately, we can see what the outcome was on that, but nevertheless, I will never take away from the fact that Luke Langley is a spectacular athlete and has been a worthy champion since winning that title from me. Luke's great, and just judging by the look he has tonight with the devil tights, I do have to say every devil has his day. And I had mine for a very long time, and now Luke Langley is definitely has that championship. And he is running with it, and I have, nothing, I have nothing bad to say about Luke Langley. The guy is the absolute best in the state. There's no arguing it. And uh, he continues to show it every single show. So uh, props to Luke. The better man won that night, and uh, a very fitting end to the showcase. Well, you know, I got to say, that's I did not expect that. I, I expected you to come out here and kind of rip on him and everything like that, because that's the Alex Royal I know. Is that... Is that Alex Moore just not here no more? Yeah, and man. we're just going with, with what we see here? You know, I've been trying some new meditation in the new year, so maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm getting a little softer as I'm getting into my 30s. But here we are. We got Luke, and uh, Luke's here in action, so we're going we're gonna to see what he can do here. Yeah, he's going up against, I think, Blue Thunder is what we're dealing with here. Blue Thunder, okay. Blue Thunder because, you know, he, he has the sound of thunder, but he doesn't strike like lightning, as his name likes to say, you know? Yeah. He calls himself a bolt, but honestly, I don't see much of any kind of striking going on in his arsenal. Well, he looks the part, and at the very least, you know, he's he's trained by a by a well-seasoned wrestler, so he knows the he knows the basics. Well-seasoned, you sure. mean he's old? I mean, you know, to each their own. You know, I was I was told once upon a time you don't call a wrestler role. That's just a thing you don't do when you're in the biz. Well, that's an old way of thinking. So you know, it yeah. just goes hand in hand. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, you like I, I could say you're seasoned when it comes to this. So. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, I mean, I make seasoning, I make everything taste good. So yeah, that's perfectly there, there fine. There you go. We got a we got a blue chip in the ring. Um, if, I, no, I don't know. Luke's the best in the state, so I don't know how much trouble this kid's actually going to give him. But it looks like he's been there and he's practiced and well trained. So let's just see what kind of challenge he gives the WFC champion. As we saw, a very elementary side headlock take over there. A bolt now trying to lock the legs together and does so successfully. I wonder how long he'll be able to keep Luke down, though. I I don't suspect it will be for terribly long. Well, I mean, just the fact that he's able to uh, put Luke on the defense. Now Luke's showing off. You, you see what he's doing here. But uh, just yeah. the fact that he's able to put him on the defense shows that uh, he's formidable in some capacity. So. Yeah, props to him. See, I don't know. I've never really been a big fan of the show-off mentality there. I think Luke wastes a whole lot of time doing that, showing to the crowd, like, look, I can jump from this side to that side. I'm working on my eight-pack when I've already got the six-pack rocking. Like, I don't understand why you got to rub it in your face. Yes, we know you're good, but you ain't got to keep telling us that. Just go out there and show it. Well, you can't really expect me to challenge what you're saying about people showing off or whether it's well, good you or bad, were a different right? exception, though. You know, like, you can't expect me to, to comment on that. So the best thing I could do is, hey, to each their own. Obviously, what he's doing is uh, is leading to championships around his waist. And if you're working in this wrestling business, that is the goal. So um, if you can look good while doing it, why not? Oh, is it something like, special? Look at him slowing, slowing it down. You know, it's, 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 it's well documented that Luke Lindley is, in fact, a very, very big, strong man. So now it looks yeah, look like... Him. He's taking advantage of him. That's what he's doing. Well, I mean, you open the door. It doesn't mean he has to walk through, right? I mean, what are you going to do, though? When the opportunity presents itself, you're just going to say no? Well, that's like asking Michael Jackson not to wear a sparkly glove, but who am I here? <laughs> who am I here to talk about? <laughs> that's fair enough. But look at this. This Bolt, he just did the stupid thing there and just bought right in to what Luke was casting out there. He took the bait, hook, line, and sinker. Well, Luke's been doing this a very long time, so yeah. if anything, he'll learn from it. I mean, you would like to think so, but he's got Striker in his corner, and he hasn't really been successful with that, so he hasn't learned too much now. Luke is so technical technically savvy it's a 
It's great to see Luke work, but you know, you know, Blue Bolt looks like he's trained well in this aspect. Looking nice little reverse hammer lock there, right back into the headlock. Let's see it. No. See how long he maintains it, though. Well, I'm feeling like you know, yeah. it might. here we go. Oh, nothing, nothing there. Oh, look, he looks even tested him. He's like, hey, why don't you try again? Like, well, run against it harder and hit me hard. Yeah. Now I think Luke's just playing with the kid. Luke's absolutely playing with the kid. You know, he's uh, Luke knows exactly what he's doing. He has this match in the palm of his hand. And, well, I say that. And then you know, we got a little drop down, a little hit and toss action. Luke hits it with a block. Another one. Oh, arm drag. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful arm drag by Blue Bull. And, and two. One. What? Is it? Oh, Japanese style. There we man. go. We got three arm drags and a drop kick. And you got Luke Langley staggering. The WFC champion is staggering right now. This is interesting to me. Yeah, from a, a kid who I I don't I didn't think could hang with this guy. Well, you say that, and then you see him do things like that, and you know, maybe it's false hope, I don't know, but um, if anything, it's promise. Well, no, I think you were right. False hope it is. And there's the cover yeah, in yeah. too. Yeah. Powerful kick out. You know, the thing is that I know it's I know he's the WFC champion. I know you want to prove yourself, but Blue Bolt was booked in this match, and when you're booked in the match, you're given the opportunity. Exactly. Okay, so even if you go out here and you can't get the job done, pun absolutely intended, at least he's showing face. So, you know, if anything, it's an opportunity. Luke with a <laughs> Luke with a dash of the kick to the back. Yeah, well. <laughs> I can tell you from firsthand experience, that does not feel good. I can only imagine. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of boot print back there. I can Ooh. already see the welt just forming on the back of Blue Bolt. Boot print, uppercut print. You got some spirit. You know. Man. You know, I gotta admit, this little side of Langley having a bit of a, a cocky edge to him there. I, I was gonna say, you know, maybe a little bit of old uh, showcase Alex were rubbed off on him. I was just thinking that. that. I don't know. I mean, you you yeah. are you're a one of a kind. There ain't gonna ever be another showcase. But I mean, I'm sure that you can pass off your tactics to those who are willing to learn. Well, if anything, I can teach you Langley. It's character and how to be a really, really, really bad person for a really, really strong man. So, um, and Luke just, Luke, Luke is just laying the leather right now. I think Luke is playing. Luke could definitely take this home if he wanted to. And it looks to me like he's prolonging the inevitable. One of the few times where I find myself actually going for Langley right now because of just how he's treating this. I mean, and as he should, because this kid was in way over his head. Like you said, I know he was given the opportunity, but this is one of those times where sometimes I think you let your mouth write a check that you're behind can't catch. Well, you know, it's a very very famous quote, and here we go with a little comeback from Blue Bull. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Luke, it cuts Luke, him off right well, there. Luke Langley is just, you know, out of this world good, so, you know, he's going to take advantage just by any open oh. hole that Blue Bull gives him. Solid backbreaker there. You know, you know, I have to say, even in, even in my nicer days, I mean, I'm proud of Luke right now. He's showing, uh, he's showing this mean streak that I've always known he has in it from way back in his Diamond Dog days. Um, but he's showing it right now to Blue Bolt. Now I could be wrong, but maybe he's taking offense to the fact that Blue Bolt accepting this accepted this match, thinking he was on the level of Luke. I would have to agree with I'm, that. I'm I'm proud of Blue Bolt for stepping up, and I'm proud of him for doing what he's doing, but. At the end of the day, this is Luke Langley. Exactly. You're dealing with a guy yeah. who is no doubt, like you said, you put him as the best that Oklahoma has, and I. it's hard to really argue yeah. that point. And to say that you're going to step to the champion like that yeah. is going to yeah. have things like that happen to you. You're absolutely right. And yeah, I think I think it's, it's passe to say that Luke is the best in Oklahoma. I think Luke is, is well beyond that. Luke, I would agree. Luke, Luke, Luke can hang with anybody in the Tristan area. So. Um, and further out, so it's, it's you know, best in Oklahoma was a fun tagline last year, but that's definitely broadened. I absolutely 100% can agree and attest to that. Obviously, we've seen him on different venues and different companies making a name for himself here. But right now, I think Langley, after getting caught in the jaw, was a little rocked for a second, but yeah, delivered a hard forearm. I'll tell you, those forearms do not feel good. But Blue Bolt did throw some really nice 90-degree elbows there to the jaw of Luke Langley. Obviously well, not enough to knock him out, though. Yeah, no, Luke Langley's got a jaw like Burt Reynolds. You see that? <laughs> I did. And again, both again. Here we go. Here we go. Well, we look got, at this. We got two flying clotheslines. You got the smoking ace reeling. 
ducks over, but then. Well, uh, yeah, Enziguri right yep. to the side of the head of Luke Langley. I think actually it may have caught him on the shoulder. Did it? There. Okay. I think so, because I saw Langley reach for that shoulder area. Oh, but look at this. Bucky flips him. Yeah, he's really digging deep into the twist shot on this one. Yes, he is. I mean, hey, if you're facing the WFC champion, you throw everything you got at him and then some. You've got to. I mean, like you said, this is his opportunity. Make the most of it. Could you imagine if Blue Bolt pulls this one off on the VIP show? I mean, it would be unheard of, but I, I just don't see it happening well, what at this is, moment. What does that say for guys in the locker room, guys like that? And oh, there wow. it is. Wow. A Blue Thunderbolt. Wow. What? Woo, that was. You know, I didn't know what to say on that, but Luke Langley with a last second near fall. So, uh, mm, that, yeah, that, that was a, something. That's a that's a little bit of a weary there, I would have to say, for that to come that close to this match being over. But Langley catches him coming in, tilt and whirls it over. Is he getting? Oh, he thought he was going for a little brain buster yeah, action I there. He was too. Maybe he saw me on commentary. <laughs> oh, good sunset flip. Oh, God. Reverse is this over. This is just, you can't teach this. Now, I, th I, th I think he's getting oh, into exactly, you know what this is. Oh, yes. This, ladies and gentlemen, looks to be, let's see, this is the key work. Yeah, so that, that so Luke Langley is uh, very famous for using the hyper beam and the brain buster in other places. But that is the key work, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like that was exactly what needed to happen to put Blue Bolt down in Africa. Props, Lucas. Props, Lucas. Props, Lucas. Yes, definitely. It was more so, I think, just a training session for Langley in this instance. Although, I have to admit, Bolt took him a couple times where it looked very iffy. Yeah. Oh, but look at that. He's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah he's, that's he's, great. He's that, a nice let's, guy. let's applaud the sportsmanship. Yeah, 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 yeah. there it is. Yeah. The whole thing there. Give him a little sportsman. Yeah, he's walking a little funny, though, after that, after that key work. But, you know, Luke Langley, there's a reason why he's the best. So, all props in the world to Luke Langley, but it looks to me like maybe he just missed a cardio day during the week and wanted to, wanted to get a little sweat. Very well could have. But, ladies and gentlemen, your first match here on the VIP experience, the WFC champion, Luke Langley, with a victory. A return to WFC that I have been waiting for. I've seen him a handful of times, obviously, since the whole thing that took place a couple years ago almost now. Ladies and gentlemen, Dirty Dutch here on the VIP. Yeah, this is a true treat, really, to have Dutch in the VIP. Once upon a time, the king of the VIP, as he called himself. I think he, he still could make is, claim that crown. I would say so, and if anything, you know, he. He could get it pretty easy if he wanted to. Uh, brand new look, looks like brand new gear, same monocle. Dirty Dutch is a veteran of all veterans. He's been around in the state for a very long time. He's a highly, highly respected man in this business. Absolutely, and I cannot wait to see what poor Stapp gets to face Dutch here tonight. Whoever he is, I feel sorry for him. And we're about to find out. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> This is interesting. Oh yeah, the Red Devil against Dutch Hagen. Okay. Well, I mean, going all the way back, you know, they've they've been in in the same companies for a very long time. Even, you know, Dutch Hagen is my very first match, actually, if people can even remember that, um, with Cartel Security versus Dutch Hagen um, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So Dutch has been doing this a very long time, and long before that, Dutch and the Canadian Red Devil have been have been going at each other's throats all the way back to the original compound days. Uh, that's, that's been some time ago, and I think I would have to say that probably history speaks in the favor of Dutch more than anybody. Well, look at Dutch. You know, he's, he has an age. Oh, <laughs> it's, he's not even worthy of a hand. He gets a glove smack. That seems rather appropriate in my opinion. Oh, what? You can't take the man's glove. I just want to know if the glove fits. That's the famous question, right? <laughs> I mean, if it don't fit, you won't win. Something like that, yeah, I think. You say that, and then you know we get a couple of near falls, and looks like going for a third one here. 
of two, and again, almost the third one, says referee Dylan Phelps. You know, I was putting over the fact that Dutch is a veteran of all veterans, and then you look at CRD here. That man is an absolute veteran. Absolutely. He's been around for so long in this business for so long, donning that red mask. You know, he calls himself an anti-hero, but at this point, he's got the people on his side. So can he really have that anti part of it? Yeah, he should probably just drop the anti, be a hero, you know, yeah. make it work. That's what I think. Good Dutch. Dutch. I think he was flashing you a dirty look there. He might have, and that's okay. It wouldn't be the first. It definitely won't be the last. Oh, is that, is that sign of things that are coming? Is that Alex Royal thinking of making the comeback of all comebacks here? Well, you know what they say, never say never, but never. It looks to me like Dutch Hagen is just a veteran of all veterans. Man, he rolls out of the ring, you know, collects himself, gets back in, ready to rock. He knows exactly what he's doing. Absolutely. you got to take time sometimes. you got to just take a minute to get your wind in, and then you'll feel all right. No big deal. Yeah, you got to catch your breath. It's okay walking around the ring because you know your opponent. You know, like they say, every breath you take, every move you make. Absolutely. He's watching. I feel like I need to go karaoke with you sometime. That <laughs> seems like it'd be a fun time. You know, if you can get me, you, Canadian Red Devil, and Dirty Dutch Hag and karaoke, I'd be so down for that. I'm working on the invitations now as we speak. You know, I hear the Canadian Red Devil knows a guy that does a bang-up job as far as DJing and whatnot, so maybe we can reach out to him and he can handle it for us. Hey, that's a that's a good thing. I, mean, I wonder if we know the same guy. I don't know. Oh, and that is, man, I that arm right there does not feel good. No, it is not in a very, okay, very unorthodox cover there from Canadian Red Devil. Was an unorthodox cover, but a stomp on that tricep. Yeah. That's just asking for that tricep to get torn. And again, a, a series of covers, multiple covers on two separate occasions. You would have thought that the devil would have taken some kind of notice that you're not going to beat Dutch like that. Yeah, I think he's had about six covers at this point. Dutch, Dutch takes over, doing a great job. And almost looked like he was going for that mask there. And you know that that mask is sacred to Canadian Red Devil. I know that if he didn't have that mask there, they wouldn't let him back into Canada. And Dutch laying the leather right there in the corner. Dutch is famous for throwing those running European uppercuts. So oh, anytime, man. anytime you're on the receiving end of one of those, it's a bad day at the office. Straight from Luxembourg itself. Oh, the Luxembourg leg kick there. And it now is. running Dutch. European. Man, just like I said, this might be more than just a near fall. Oh, it, only a two count though. It was, Referee Dylan Feltz still says that this match still is going, but man, it did look pretty precarious there after that running European forearm. I think it's safe to say Dutch is the same Dutch we've always known. The, oh, way, yeah. the, the way he's getting after it right now. It's in his namesake. He's dirty Dutch. Like, I don't know why anybody would have expected this to go any differently. It's like I have to tell Burnham this a hundred times over and over, and sometimes even for 200 times. I'm like, you've got to understand that this guy is a man of class. He is a man that has true intensity, and you're not going to outclass him. You're not going to outwork him. Dutch is a man's man. No, this man definitely has a mean streak, and he's, he's brute power. I say that, and I say that, and then CRD gives the backdrop of all backdrops, little dirty Dutch. But if you follow Dutch Hagen on anything social media, the man is a fiend for working out. Like Absolutely. He, he is, he is he's one of the strongest humans in this building. And the fact that the fact that CRD has taken the steps to you know, debilitate his tricep, to work his neck, to, to, to lay in the leather where he's supposed to, he knows exactly what Dutch does, what he's capable of, and he's trying to knock him down a Well, I don't know about knocking down a peg or two because I don't think he needs to be knocked down any pegs. I think Dutch is such a great man. I've had many a conversations with Dutch. He is a fine human being. He represents the United Kingdom very well. I can't help but be proud to be proud to know the man. The way you talk, you'd act like it's the key to the city. I mean, it, he is from Luxembourg, Luxembourg. He is a national idol there for them. Have you ever been to Luxembourg? I have. It's a lovely place, especially Lutheran. What's the weather like? You know, sometimes it's a little choppy, a little rainy. It's kind of like rainy. Seattle. Oh, gotcha. Sounds a bit depressing, if you ask me. Well, you know what's going to be depressing is if Canadian Red Devil would somehow pick up a win over this. Well, if you were to throw the option out here to everybody in this audience right now, would you rather go to Luxembourg or would you rather go to Canada? I don't think either one of them. 
me personally, I'm choosing Luxembourg, but none of these people would even know the difference. No, I mean, rightfully so. They all they only know, you know the Tulsa County city limits. However, everyone has a dream board. I know? mean, maybe, but dreaming is just that, dreams. They don't come true. The Canadian Red Devils got a lot of stuff going for him. He wears red, you know, it's a color in the American flag. He has the Niagara Falls on his side of Canada. There's a lot going for him. Maple syrup is a big deal where he's from. Well, you did say Niagara Falls, which means that it fell at some point in time. There's another near fall with the Canadian Red Devil. A fall from grace there, I think, is how it's going to go. Speaking of fall from grace, I used to have a move called fall from grace. That's I know. It was quite lovely, too. I loved when I saw that. You know, enough about me. I'm, I've talked about myself for seven years. I might as well spend some time talking about everyone else. And Dirty Dutch firing up a smack to the gut. Man, Dutch just giving all he can here. He has worked so hard, but no, okay. You need, hey. referee, you better check that man's leg. I swear that that was a little too low. You were looking at crippling the man. You can't do that. You, know, you asked earlier why he's not just a full-fledged hero instead of the anti-hero. It's probably because he does things like that. Yeah, well. And now, you know, like I said, I, I've leaned on the phrase veteran a lot through these past two matches, but look what he's doing. He takes out the leg. Now he's taking care of the leg. He's getting some. He's getting some commitment from the audience. Do you hear that? Yeah, the one or three fans that he has, absolutely. It's more than one or three. That's at least seven or eight. <laughs> that's at least seven. I give the man his credit. Sure, we'll double up a little bit for him. That's more like triple. Come on now. Where'd you go to school at? Tulsa. I mean, but okay. still. Oh, hey, that's a good school. I'm proud of you for that one. Yeah. That's what. That was six A when I was in fifth grade. Now they're what seven A or something? I think they're still six A. All right, then the union still kill it, but okay. you know. Oh, back on task here, I guess. <laughs> it is what it is here. We talk everything Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. He reminded me of my podcast now. And Dirty Dutch <laughs> with the left boot to the middle of the back. Man, I just, I just like the way Dutch do Dutch business. I always have. Oh, it's dirty. It's wonderful. I mean, that's probably you probably took inspiration from him at one time. You know, at one point, but guys like Mike took inspiration from that too. You know, just just when you you think you're down, you find any which way, and there it is a beautiful oh. atomic drop. He felt that one all the way uh, last re reverse year. Reverse atomics to the back of the posterior. Now we're gonna get a forward one here. Maybe, maybe. Here we go, and there it is, oh, a double no. knee. Oh that's the yeah. That's the chode buster there. Well, you know, let's just say. Uh, the twig and giggles aren't very happy right now. No, they are not. And he is not about and here to. Here we go. You know this. The Canadian special. Well, he's from Canada. If you don't do, if you don't do the Canadian special, then who are you? Oh yeah, that's very true. Definitely not a sharpshooter. I'll tell you that. Uh, oh my lord. He, earlier, I said brute strength. And yes. look at this. And you know what he's calling for here? But oh, the leg gave out. The yep. leg gave out there. Yep. Oh no! Come on, yep. referee. He's smart, anti-hero at work. That 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 move that you talked so down on earlier. Look at him use that to capitalize. It's leaving a bread trim print. You know what they say about the big bad wolf? I do. He'll huff and puff and he'll blow your house down. And it looks to me like Canadian Red Devils looking to blow the house down of Dirty Dutch Hagen. Well, yeah, but you know that there was a time where that wolf failed to blow a house down, and that looks like what's happening right now, failing to get that house blown down. And he's pivoting. Looks like a figure four leg lock coming up. No, no, not the, no. There you go. Block that leg there, Dutch. If anybody's strong enough, oh, if anyone's strong enough to hold it off, and it no, looks like he's got it cinched in pretty tight. Oh, he doesn't have to tap, just roll over if you, you know, need to. Roll over, yeah. roll the pressure. You know, I don't want to be the guy, but if they lay down on their back, referee Dylan Phelps, count that three, bud. You're completely right. Shoulders would be down. They're there right there. That is a I think CRD could have this map. There it there is. is. Look, at, hey, he's smart. He's smart. He comes from a great family. He knows. <laughs> I don't know. Lump, throat there. You should probably get that checked out. I thought about it, but you know. I hear St. John's Medical is pretty decent in these parts. Yeah, definitely anything better this, than Utica. This right here is a great match. I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly The people that spent their money on these tickets, they're definitely getting their money's worth. Well, these are two guys that you have made note of. They are definitely seasoned veterans here, and they're showing you exactly why they are veterans. Yeah, this, this is another veteran call by Dirty Dutch. CRD waiting in the wings. 
And look at that. Yeah, used it to his advantage. Oh, look at the strength. Oh, he's got him up. You know what he's going for. Dutch oven is coming. Yes. It's coming. Man, I've been on the receiving end of this. It is zero fun. Oh, well and there it is. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. One. This one's over. The king of the VIP is intact, ladies and gentlemen. You are absolutely correct. The king of VIPs has returned in the main event, and he has disposed of the devil here tonight. You know, I can't help but try to ride the very nice side of the fence and say very nice things. But there's so many things in Dutch Hagen's performance that I absolutely admire. So props to Dutch Hagen for getting that done. Uh, a lot of stuff he did is stuff that I would have done myself. So, um, and you know, you see the result. There's a reason why Nice Guys finished last. So maybe that's why the anti-hero calls himself the anti-hero. Maybe, because he's anti-winning at this moment at least. I don't know if he's anti-winning. I mean, he did lose this match. So, I mean, most people don't have a perfect record. Well, okay, fair point. 